Okay, well, um, good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Karibuni sana. Um, today is a bright morning. It's a bright day, sorry. I think the last time we met here on this YouTube channel, we said that we're going to be talking about so many different things. And uh, it's been like 10 days before we uploaded something else. So, welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about nursing, like penye tulikuwa tumeachia. Because we had talked about nursing and I told you I'm going to tell you my story of how I did my nursing. Like you guys, you know, I'm a nurse by profession. Like I mentioned in the last video, I've been a nurse for the last uh, 10 plus years. Let's call it 10 plus years. So um, like I had promised, we had said that we'll talk about um, after the kid has completed doing nursing. So what happens next? Which one is better? Is it working in a government uh, institution or is it working in those big poshi poshi hospitals in the country? We're talking about Africa, Kenya. Um, so, to Lisha Mali, that customer, the, the kid has already completed. Like, maybe you decided to do a BSN in nursing. You either decided to do, um, you either decided to do a Kenya registered community health nurse, which we said for a starter, that's the best for your child to start in, right? I hope we all remember. If you've not watched that video, I'm going to tag on, like, I'll put the link here so that you go back and watch it so that you understand what we're talking about. So I'm saying, um, oh, this cutting is just disturbing me. Sorry, guys. Okay, well, I think it's better. We have good, we have better lighting. So what I'm saying is, um, mtoi Alisha Maliza kufanya, like, Alisha Maliza nursing, na maybe I'm a job in private hospitals. I'm telling you, in private hospitals in the country, they don't get good pays. You don't, you don't, like, we don't get appreciated. Nurses in Kenya, we don't get appreciated. So what happens, you find that a nurse gets employed maybe in a, in a, in a private hospital. It's a big hospital, yes, but the salary is so small. Like, the salary scale is so tiny, and there's nothing that child is going to do with their lives. Like, unapatam say, anaripua, let's call it, um, just a rough estimate of uh, about 60,000. 60,000 is, is the gross amount of money that, that 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 child is getting and you back home you as a parent you're expecting because your child has gone back to has gone to school has gone to college and has done nursing so you're expecting oh like support maybe like you have a, they have she has other siblings who are in the school and um, when they're in the school you want your child who's done nothing to support you at the end of the day. But let me tell you, that child is not getting enough money. Because assuming that person has been employed in Nairobi, um, you find that, like, I'm talking about my own struggles as a, as a nurse in Kenya. I've worked in private hospitals for the last, like, um, um, like let's call it 14 years. But then in the last four years, I've been in a government setup. When you compare a government setup and you compare... The private hospital a government setup is way much better by a hundred percent you cannot compare those two places i'm not saying in terms of work environment and stuff the work environment is okay well it's bad as compared to the the hygiene in those private hospitals but then again what about the money that you're getting in those private and you have that hygiene as a nurse working there me i worked in those big big places like big big hospitals i don't want to put their names here but again you find that the workload uh, not the workload as per se, as in what you're getting versus what you're being paid, what you're, what you're, what you're delivering, let's call it this way, what you're delivering versus what you're getting, it's, it's not comparable. And guys, we say, however much nursing is a call, these people, maybe at the end of the day, they are breadwinners. Like me, I'm a breadwinner in my family. You find that I have people who are, I'm an umbrella, like there's some people who are depending on me. My parents are depending on me. My kids are depending on me. My brothers are depending. Like I have so many people I'm supporting. So at the end of the day, if you tell me that I go to a hospital, work, 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 work the whole day, like a 12-hour shift, and then I go home with 1,000, at the end of the day, like for sure, it's, it's not making sense. So that's where people go wrong because they don't want to understand that as a nurse, you're also working, but you're also working. Like when you're in a hospital, fine, how much you're getting paid, but at the end of the day, like you have to earn something. It's an earning. It's a call, yes, but you have also to, like, you have you also have to get something at the end of the day. You need money. You need money to survive. Your kids are going to school and everything, like all those things, you know? So, so guys, when somebody tells you that uh, being a nurse is a call, yes, fine, it's a call. Because like we had talked in the other video, we said, Anaiza fanya nursing because everybody told them, 
but you know what uh, do nothing because at the end of the day you will never lack a job yeah it's true you'll never lack a job but what amount of money that you will get what about the amount of money that you'll be paid as after you become a nurse so this person maybe became a nurse because the parents wanted them to do nothing so it was not a calling you're the, you're the kind of people you find in hospitals they have attitudes from here to Timbuktu like you mentioned the other time the other time I did in, in, in Kiswahili so maybe some of you are not understanding understand we are now going global so I'm saying if, if maybe your child did nothing not out of will like it's not them who wanted to do nothing it's their parents who felt because nothing has money let my child do nothing because at the end of the day they're not come up looking for a job my friend those are the kind of people you find in a hospital because they are working to be paid they're not working because that thing is from there it, it, it's in their vessels like in their veins but some of us worked work as nurses because this is something that was in us when we were growing like you know when you, like me when i was a tiny kid i used to see like i have an aunt who is a nurse I used to see her, like, you know, the way she's taking care of people in the village. You know, when he, she comes back from Nairobi, Nairobi is the capital city of Kenya. So when she comes back from Nairobi, you find that, hey, people are feeling nice because there is a nurse in the, in the, in the village who's come. And then people would come and ask other you, I feel, I used to feel very nice, you know, looking at them. And I'm like, oh, wow, I want to be a nurse when I grow old. And that's how, because I had seen people who were so enthusiastic about their job. That's how I ended up loving the career, loving the nursing as a career. So what we're saying is these people will go, they have already completed their college, the four years, the four and a half, the six years, the ten, the whatever. They, they are already now in the hospital. They are now in the tarmacking of job, like they are tarmacking for a job. What happens? Um say and end up at a job, like what we are saying is they go and get employed in a private hospital. You realize, eh, the money that I'm getting here is not enough. So you find that these people will work day in, day out, like in a, in a month. Like a month has 30 days, you find that they are working for like 25 days, you know, they rested for four days. Most of the private hospitals that's in Kenya, that's what they that's what they do. You find that you're working for 24 days in a month, you have only six days or five days for resting. And the money that you're getting is not enough to sustain you. So you find that these people have attitudes because at the end of the day, they are, it's hand from hand to mouth. You know, like that, that thing of like Kunase Manga, like you say, Anas is so rude because this person, even the mind is not settled. There's a place I used to work with a long time ago. This person, by the time I was joining that hospital, because I worked for quite some time, the hospital was a very tiny hospital. By the time I was living there, I had already done my critical care in nursing. I had already become a senior nurse. I mean, like right now, I'm a senior nurse. I wouldn't call myself a junior nurse. I wouldn't call myself a, a new graduate, because I have not just graduated the other day. The experience that I have in nursing is quite enough for me to call myself a, 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 a senior nurse. However much I cannot compare myself to the people that I'm working with in the facility that I am right now, in the hospital that I am, I am in right now. I'm, I'm in a referral hospital and it's a big hospital. Of course, there are some way bigger people who've done nothing like for so many years. They have big papers, they have masters in nursing. Me with my critical care papers, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like that person now, going back to the hospital, that person should have been growing the, the owner of that hospital should have been growing with the staffs in the, in the facility. But what happened, you find that this person is just growing by themselves. You find that you've joined a hospital which was like just two floors. They had not even bought like a plot just adjacent to the hospital. You find that by the time you're getting there out of five, like out, uh, after five years, the person has built a seven-story building. Like it's a big hospital. It's now almost a level five. Like it was uh, just a clinic. Right now it's a level five hospital. So you find that that person is not growing with the staffs. You find the staffs that who started with that hospital, with them in that hospital, they cannot even afford to drive. They cannot even afford to, to have a car, you know? Yeah, that's the typical life of a Kenyan nurse. So what happens, you realize, like now me, like I, I want to give a story of my life, like how it happened. I realized that hey, even if I, I continue working here, even if I continue working as a nurse, as a Kenya registered community health nurse, it's not going to help me. Like what I'm telling you, if your child has already, like if you decided to go to Kole and then do uh, community health, like uh, Kenya registered community health nursing, you're expecting to get good money. So me, that is the same thing I had because I had started with a certificate in nursing. I have already upgraded now to a diploma in nursing, which means I am now a Kenya registered community health nurse. Then I was talking about the one that I was talking about in the other video and I said it's an umbrella, it, like it's an umbrella because it has everything. It comprises of all, most, most of the um, it has touched the several areas in nursing. So I realized, oh man, still the money is not coming through. 
when you've like I've just come from this small hospital, I've gone to a big hospital, it was one of the big hospitals in the city, but still I'm not getting good money, you know. Yeah, I'm working my like I'm working day in, day out. I come from this facility today, I'm working twenty-five days in a month, and then I come from this hospital, I go to another place. There's some things we call low camps, like you go and work work an extra an extra hour, like an extra day in a different hospital from where you're employed permanently for you to get some, some little coins out of, out of, because you know, your money is not getting enough at the end of the day. You're living in the city. The city is expensive. Like everything is expensive. You're the breadwinner in that family. So what happens? So I decided to go back and do critical care nursing. So when I did critical care nursing is when now money started coming flowing in and you know, like I feel now there's a difference. Is a difference because even now you get as charming a man you can bargain you have bargaining powers so what happened after i did my critical care that was back in 2017 2018 it's now i was able like that now i was that time i was able to get a job in a uh, in a government hospital i got a job in uh, a government hospital what is better working in an icu setup and oh my oh boy i love it i love it I love working in an ICU. I cannot compare the days I used to work in a, uh, I used to work in a ward, like in those private pushy pushy hospitals. I cannot compare. Like there's a big difference. There's a big. I feel like I've fulfilled what what I what I wanted to be when I was doing nursing. I feel like I've done something um, that, like you know, at the end of the day, when you go to a hospital or when you go to a unit, you find that this there's this person who needs who needs you fully, like this person is depending on you. You know, like you feel nice because at the end of the day, even me, I could be in that hospital bed. So every time I'm touching a patient, every time I get into the unit, I normally tell God, you know God, let this day be a blessing to me and to this patient. Not only to this patient, but to my generation that are coming. Anything that I do to this patient, let it be a blessing. Let it not be a curse. Because at the end of the day, I know I can get a curse from this patient. You can try to imagine a patient who is mechanically ventilated. Mechanically ventilated means this person is in a me mechanical ventilator. I mean, this person is in a life support machine. If they're in a, in a life support machine, it means there's nothing they can do for themselves. Basically, they can't even change their diaper. If the diaper is soiled, they can't change it. You can imagine how a child feels when they have put, put on their, themselves. It comes a time like when you're just so desperate, you're, so, you're just so like you can't do anything for yourself. When you're sick, yeah, it gets to that point. So you can imagine this person has come from theater, maybe like an open heart surgery, because that's that's my speciality. A person has come from theater, uh, was open heart surgery, like they they've operated on your heart. So you can't do anything on yourself. You expect somebody to give you a helping hand. So at the end of the day, what happens when you give a helping hand with a clean heart to this patient? You get a lot of blessings, man. You get a lot of blessings. You're not doing it because of the work because of the money that you get at the end of the month. You're not doing it because of the incentive that you receive maybe from, I don't know who you're expecting to give you incentives. You're doing it knowing that this could be your mother, this could be your father, this could be you, this could be your child, this could be your brother. You know, at the end of the day, this could be anyone that you know, anyone that's so close to your life. So you're working, you're working knowing that at the end of the day, if I work and, and there's fulfillment that comes with it, when you feel like you've done something nice for this person, you know. Now, going back to this person who has completed their nursing, they've already finished. You know, we said in this YouTube channel, we're going to educate each other. Like, we want we want everybody to be enlightened. If you're a parent out there and you have a child, you have a sister, you have a brother, you have, like, you know, you need to understand, after my child has done this, what is the next step? I've already explained how my life as a nurse, like, after I completed uh, critical care nurse, is when I got a good job in in um in a government hospital and i felt like life is a bit different but for the last like i don't know how many years it has been like a race you know like you're racing you're racing nothing is coming out of it you're working at the end of the month you get paid but at the end of the month there's nothing that's showing like you can't have you don't have a plot of your own that you need you can call you, you yours you don't have you don't have like you have nothing you know you're just a nurse who goes to work every day and years are moving you, you know you're getting kids you're growing old, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you need to show what you've done for your life. So I, I would I would like to tell you that after your child has done nursing up to that level of either BSN, 
and then they've started looking for a job they're terminating for a job and they're not getting a job don't let don't let them stop there if you can support your kids if you can support your children if you can support your sister your brother your niece your whatever as long as you can support your kids it's fine support them to do a speciality a speciality now comes in and it comes in with a good package because at the end of the day you you either there are so many different types of speciality like now me i decided to go into critical care Critical care means I'm working in ICU throughout. I can't work in a, in a ward. How much I can work in? As long as a unit is critical, uh, I can work there. So support your children after they've done the Kenya Registered Community Health Nurse, maybe either a degree or they did a diploma. Well and good. After some few years, you realize, oh, they're not getting. They're not. They're not yet there. They're not. They've not gotten to the self actualization point because it takes a long. It, 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 it takes a long time for you to get to that level. Even me with my ten years plus experience in nursing, I have not. I'm not even close to the that level of like saying now. You know what? I'm now. I'm now in. Um, I'm now like I can say now. I'm. I'm. I'm better off in in a position in the society. I'm still not yet there. So what I'm saying is eh, what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, you need to do something for your people. You need to do something for your kids. You need to do something that will assist them move to a different ladder. You know when you're moving, like when you're using staircases and stuff, you're moving from point A to point B, you're in ground floor. At some point, me, I was in ground floor. I went to first floor. I went to third floor. I would say right now I'm in fourth floor. Before I get to level 10, it will take ages. Because like right now, I have a critical, I have a high diploma in critical care nursing. I just want to do a degree in nursing. I also want to do a, a master's, a master's in nursing, and then from there I finish in a PhD. Maybe PhD in a different uh, entity or whatever. Like maybe I do PhD in um, anesthesia, PhD in uh, you know, like a different version, like a different version of. Uh, I mean, you understand what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is, eh, your child has already completed. I keep repeating this. Sorry about that. I get like my mind gets like wanders around. I'm saying if a child has already done BSN or a diploma in nursing, support them to have a diploma, a higher diploma in a speciality. For example, they can do a higher diploma in critical care like I did. If you want more information about that, there are so many schools that are offering. KNPT is one, Mata School of Nursing is one, Nairobi Hospital, I think they also offer. I think I'm not sure, but I think they do. That truth, there are so many. You can also do... Um, a uh, higher diploma in uh, pediatric ICU that is called TICU. There is also NICU, like the neonates, the small kids. Like, you just do a speciality. You can also do palliative nursing. It's, it's a crash program that you do for one year, and it gives you more insights about nursing and stuff. Like, you get more enlightened. And at, at, at the same time, you get more stamina. Like, you know, you get more bargaining power. Like, you know, I'm a critical care nurse. I'm a palliative nurse. And, like, that means you have to work in that specific area. You're working in an area of your speciality. If you're a palliative nurse, you will work with people who have who have cancer and stuff, giving them medications. Like you're specialized, you're special. Sorry, you're specialized in that. If you're a critical care nurse, it means you will be working in a critical care IC, like a critical care unit, all the time. If you're working in um, if you're working, sorry. Okay, guys. Oh, sorry about that. I was saying um. If you've done like maybe palliative nursing, it means you'll be working in a unit whereby people have cancer, they are receiving high-end medications for cancer, like you're specialized in that in that field. Like me, if you were to tell me I'm a critical care nurse, I deal with these patients who are critically ill. These patients cannot do anything for themselves. Like I see you, that's where I work, that's what my, my speciality is. Somebody else would want to venture into renal. Renal is those people who have kidney issues. You know, at the end of the day, our kidneys tend to fail with our age. Maybe tend to fail with uh, certain conditions. Maybe you have high diabetes, hypertension. You need somebody who has learned the speciality of uh, renal, like kidney now. That is what I'm trying to talk about. Like now you're, 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 you're just newly graduated nurse can also be uh, a renal nurse. And it will give them stamina, like what we are saying. Like it will give them some bargaining power. At the end of the day, you'll find that... Um, they're getting something better than the way it was before. So guys, um, like we say, this, this, this YouTube video is all about enlightening ourselves. If you feel like there's something that I'm leaving out and you don't have to discuss, please be sure to reach out and I will definitely talk about it. And we said I'll only talk about what I'm sure and what I know about. I'll not talk about things that I don't know. I'll not talk things about what I hear. I'll not talk about things in other fields. 
I'm not talking about things in, 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 in things that, are, that I'm not sure. You have to talk about things that you know yourself. Okay? Yes. Um, so after, like now, like after they've done that um, higher speciality, they, they, after they've done, sorry about that, after they've done the speciality now, like they have, um, uh, maybe like they've done uh, um, critical care, they now continue working in ICU. They'll also realize that, okay, working in ICU still is not the best thing. Like now where I am right now. And they'll start of working, like working their, their, their things out and then they realize, oh, I need to go somewhere else. See you in the next video so that I tell you what else they can do. This is a nursing journey, you know. Bye-bye, guys. And I'm subscribed. And then share, hit that like button and stuff.